welcome back to Keep On Creating. I'm Mike, this is my t-shirt printers, and what are we gonna be doing today? Well, you're gonna have to wait and see. You would have seen the thumbnail already. So that about brings us to the end of today's dive. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you know when a fresh episode comes in. So today we're gonna to be working on a design, more a, a simple design, a DDC style design in the screen printing realm. Now what I wanna do with this, I wanna create some patches or like a sort of a sticker design, maybe even a poster, possibly we'll do that in another episode. But basically what it means is we're gonna be taking a element from the screen printing world and making a very simplistic version of it and making a cool patch idea from it or something we can use in stickers and as I said, maybe a poster later on. Maybe the next episode we'll do a poster out of the design we make from this one. So, what exactly does this all mean? It means we're gonna be taking a, let's take a squeegee can I get a squeegee? Get it yourself. Assistance. So here I have a squeegee. So basically what is a squeegee made up of? It's made up of the handle and the squeegee blade. So the part you hold and the part you use to push things through the screen. If you have a look at the other side, it's got some screws on it, which could be cool to add, but I think we'll just keep it really simple and just concentrate on this area and this area over here. Now squeegees do come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and all sorts of different grips. I mean, I've got some really, really old ones that I don't really want to show because, oh, uh, nice one. Now, now you passed them to me. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. So if we look at these two squeegees here, you can see they're really different. You've got quite a long one with a long handle up here and a shorter one with a very short handle here. If you put them together, you can see they're quite, quite different. Even if you look at the side profiles of these, you can see the one is the, uh, the handle part that goes over here, where this one's got more of a swoop over here, in this section over here. So to just basically break this down into its quick elements, we've got a flat area over here, the handle, we've got this dip part in over here, or the notch, then we've got a flat area over here, and then we've got the actual squeegee blade itself. Let's draw this thing. Let's start off by getting a new document open. So to get a new document open, we're just gonna hit up here to a finish designer, Go across to file, click on that, and drop down to new, and up pops this new document window. You know I like to work on a big artboard, so I've got 500 by 500, and we're just gonna leave that at 300 dpi. Not that it matters, because it's a vector file. Can actually turn this bleed off here, I don't need that right now. And let's click create, and up pops our artboard. So this is actually our artboard here, and we've got our rulers all set up. If you haven't got your rulers showing here, all you gotta do is go up to here to view, and drop down to show rulers. That's this function over here, command R, and then your rulers will show up like that. Okay, so where to start first? Let's start off by drawing the squeegee, and then we can decide on the shape of our patch. So looking at a squeegee, a squeegee is just made up of two sections. It's made up of the holder, the blade holder, and the actual squeegee blade itself. So it's just basically like two rectangles. So we can get our rectangle tool up, which is M, or this tool over here, and just make a rectangle on our page. So I'm just gonna click and drag to about there, just gonna head over to our swatches and change it to colors bring those colors up make it a white fill and a black outline so it's white fill black outline nice solid black as well not a ghostly black it's gonna bring up our stroke width a little bit there make it nice and thick it's all about thick lines with DDC and I'm gonna zoom in here so hold on command and shift uh, command and spacebar and bring that up. So what I want to look at is I want to round these corners. So we've got single radius and I'm going to go rounded and let's just put that at eight for now to judge something quick. Right, so I'm happy with that radius on the outside there, but I just want this a little bit less on this side here. But before I do that, let's just make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to hit V to get our move tool, which is this tool up here. Click that, hold Alt, Shift, click and drag. Just make another copy up there and I'm gonna actually make that a none. So just got a nice a straight edge. It has got a little bit of a round edge because we still got these rounded corners over here selected. So you see the cap is round. So I've got a round cap, butt cap, and square cap. I'm just leave, gonna leave that on round cap for now. Back to our rectangle, and we're gonna to wanna to change the radius of these two upper sections over here. So click off the single radius, and these ones here, your top left and your top right, I'm gonna change them down to three and three. And you can see it's slightly less now on those to two top corners, and that's what I'm looking for there. Okay, zoom in again. I always like to get really close in when I'm doing this. And what I want to do is that handle has basically got this flat section over here, a little dip over here, and then a flat section over here. So let's get our 
circle tool up, which is this tool over here. I'm just going to draw a basic circle, okay, right to the edge of that. I'm just going to judge how much I want to take that in by. Probably maybe make that a little bit taller. Should we knock it in a little bit? Try and get that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so with your circle selected, I'm going to hold shift and select our rectangle bit over here. So I've got those two objects selected and I'm going to hit this minus button. So I've got this little like divot happening over here. Okay, now the reason why I didn't do two of them, I want this shape over here to be exactly the same as this side over here. So let's make a duplicate of the squeegee. So I'm going to hold on alt shift, click and drag. Just go up here and flip it over a horizontal flip and you can see it's made that other shape on this side. Let's just drag it back in to just pass that section there. Hold shift, select both the objects and hit this add function. And now we've got that perfect shape over here that matches the perfect shape on this side. So select that, hit A to bring your node tools up and I'm just gonna drag those in so that they kind of the same as what they were. Right, so to finish this little squeegee bit of here, it still looks a bit funky. I'm gonna get my pen tool, which is P and I'm just gonna draw a line from here to here okay and i'm going to duplicate this line over here so you know how to do that now You're just going to hold down while your line is selected hold down alt and shift click and drag and just make a duplicate just sit over there so now you've got that handle that dip and that handle bit over there and this is actually the part where the screws go i'm not going to draw the screws in there because we're going to keep this really simplistic just drag this back down here now we're going to make it shorter because it is a squeegee blade. So let's just make it nice and short over there. And that is basically our squeegee blade shape. Just zoom out. I'm just going to click all over that. Just drag it off to the side. Make a duplicate of this entire section over here. So I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift. Click and drag. And this little bit over here, I'm just going to flip around. Complete 180 and leave it over there. So we've got our basic squeegee shape. And we can decide which version we're going to use, the top one or the bottom one. If we head on over here to our tool palette and go all the way to this fourth tool over here, click and hold on that, and you can see it gives us a whole bunch of shapes to work with. Now currently we could use a few of these. We could use the polygon, we could use that at an angle, I suppose we could use a triangle. I think this trapezoid will actually, that'll work quite well. So I'm gonna use the trapezoid and I'm gonna click and drag and make this a big trapezoid block over here. It's also going to just flip it the other way around. Just hold shift, nice 180. Now currently when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing this line over here. That's a little bit steep for me. So if you look up here, it says left point and right point. That's currently 25 and 75. So if you add those two together, you end up with 100%, which equals a square because you've got 90 degree angles. So if I just go here and I type in, let's go 10% and make it up to 100 by typing 90%. That's a little bit less and we've got the exact same angles on each side of these. So that's cool. Okay, so the inside I'm looking for that to be this blue color. So let's just make that blue. And what we need to do is still looking a little bit boring to me. So I need to add a bit more to this. And currently in a state, I cannot adjust anything with my node tool. So if I hit A now, you can see it still doesn't do anything. There's no nodes that come up. But if you go Command Enter, Convert it to Curves. Now my nodes are showing over here. Just move that back. And I can basically go into the center of this, which is about, that's my center point there. So if I just click and drag that up, now we're talking, now we're making a bit better of a shape there. Okay, cool. So with the shape selected, I want to kind of round these corners a little bit better too. Now, obviously, it's no longer a square, so I can't round those corners anymore. So work around this is that we just get our stroke and we just really pump that stroke up and we get a nice rounded corner going over here. So what we need to do to release that, because currently it's just working on this inside section, we just hit it up to layer and drop down to expand stroke and it creates that line that we're looking for over there. Now we're going to click this divide function, click on that divide function, and it's basically divided up all those little bits there. So you can see it's got an inner, an inner, and our outer bit. Just select these two, we don't need those anymore. Delete them, and let's just work with this guy over here. So let's just recolor it, we'll make it blue, and give it a black line, and just make sure your stroke is nice and thick. So we we'll just take that up somewhere around there-ish. Okay, so let's bring in one of our squeegees and decide what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click and drag that in, just bring it to the top. So come on, shift, close square bracket, bring that up to the top. Let's make that a bit bigger. Okay, just drag it out. Now that would kind of be a bit boring just to slap it in there. So what we can do is, let's just move the squeegee out the way. 
I'm just going to drag that squeegee. Just put it in there. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, somewhere around there. I think it would be cool for it to be coming in on the side. The only problem is, is it's no longer going to really look like a squeegee on the side there. So what we need to do is add a little bit more to this. So I'm going to select this bit of the squeegee here. Hold on Alt and Shift. Just make a duplicate of it. Okay, hit A. And I'm going to bring in, let's take these nodes here. Just bring those nodes all the way in to about there. Okay, click and drag that. Just get your point to the move tool and bring it back in here. Okay, and let's just take those lines and bring them back to there. Now, it kind of still looks like a squeegee. I mean, we can take that little blade in a little bit. So it sits right. That looks, yeah, that'll look cool. Okay, so don't worry about this section over here. We're going to come sort that out in a second. I'm thinking we may need to make this a little bit smaller and maybe take it up a little bit there. Get in some text here. So I'm going to hit T to get our artistic text tool, which is this guy over here. So if you just click on that one and click on your artboard, just type in some text, so create a full stop. And I'm going to just make that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go over the node, just make it a bit bigger. And in true DDC fashion, let's make this Futura, whoop, Futura. There you go, and make it Futura Bold. Yep, Creator. Okay, it's going to pop that in there and make this fill up that whole section. That's cool. And let's just make this white for now. So that's not white, that is white. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do to add some color in this, i just going to group this here for a second. So I'm just going to drag my Move Tool, group it all. Okay, and basically what I want to do is I want to make some color gradients from here going one, two, three, and then we'll have a big block at the top. So get my rectangle tool up again. I am going to draw from this section here all the way to the top. Well, we're going to have to take it, take it to there. Just take the stroke off and make this yellow color for now and just zoom in here. Just make that snap to the top there. Go all the way down to the bottom. Yep, that's a line there. Uh, let's just drag this off the page over here. Go to your transform and let's see, it says 78 at the moment. So let's just divide that up by three. So divide that by three and you can see it basically has given us a division of three. So when we select this object here, which I'm gonna make big, if I click, hold shift and alt and drag that down, going to snap it to that one do that again hold shift and alt snap it to there it's basically created three equal sections so this section here is our yellow bit we can make this our orange bit and then a deeper orange bit and then this top it up here alt shift click and drag make a duplicate of that rectangle just drag it out there so now we've got our rectangle going there and with our squeegee we obviously want the squeegee to sit on top of this so come on shift close square bracket and it sits on top of there and just probably move it up a titch okay so now with all our elements here we've got to get these to fit inside this graphic to basically create a clipping mask as we do in illustrator it's going to click our layers palette make that a bit wider and this is our curve we're going to be working with here so i'm just going to drag just that all the way to the top click all of these layers that we've created here okay the text one yep all of them together and just pop them straight under there drop them and now what we can do if we wanted to change this group over here and bring it in a little bit we could and let's just stick it over there so you can that's cool so we've got our squeegee our lines our gradient lines of color with creator in it and that will make an awesome patch yes yes you can create some really cool merch with a design like this it's simple it's punchy i i like this so much i actually went into did a few different colors in it i mean this green one i'm digging this green one and i didn't stop there i kind of went to town and made some caps up i'm really liking this logo so with that said, I'll put a link in the description or a comment below and you can go check out the patches and see what you think. And with all of that said, once again, these patches are cool. Don't forget to head on over to our social channels all linked over here below. Not linked, they're in the description linked. I don't know how to link them on the screen. Head over to our social channels, it'd be nice to see you around. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here.